All right, let's make salted caramel pecan pie bar. First thing we wanna do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees. And then what we wanna do is take a piece of parchment paper and line a loaf pan with it. So I have about half a cup of butter here. So we're just gonna melt the butter on medium heat. Moving it around the pan is really gonna help it, prevent it from splattering. You can see that the milk solids underneath are starting to turn golden brown and that's what we want. So I'm just gonna stop that pour it all into a heat proof bowl. Add a quarter cup of brown sugar. We're gonna do a cup and a half of all purpose flour. Add just a little bit of salt. And we're gonna mix this up until it's all combined. Use my fingers to mix up the dough. Then we are going to press it into the pan. Really smoosh it in there. Put this in the oven and we're gonna bake it for about 15 minutes just so it sets. We don't want the color to change, we just want it to set a little bit. The next thing we're gonna do is make the pecan pie filling. Caramelize some granulated sugar. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of maple syrup. Cook this on medium heat and just swirl it around the pan. We really want it, the sugar to get around and to heat up and to start to melt and turn golden brown. Oh yeah, this is looking good. We're gonna add a couple tablespoons of heavy cream. We're gonna add a couple tablespoons of butter. We're gonna add a dash of vanilla, and then a little bit of salt. It's gonna bubble pretty aggressively, actually, but just keep mixing it and it's not gonna overflow. Now we're gonna add about a cup and a half of chopped pecans. Oh yeah. And then we are going to pour this pecan filling into this loaf pan. Just make sure you evenly put it in there. You don't really want any air gaps in between because again, we're gonna cut it. That looks good. I'm gonna pop this back in the oven, bake it for about 15, 20 minutes until it's totally set. All right, so our bars have cooled for about 20 minutes. We wanna make sure they're nice and cool and easy to handle. They come right out of the pan. Now it's time to slice them. How delicious does that look? Let's try this. Oh yeah, so good. You guys are gonna love this. We're gonna do a no-bake peppermint and chocolate icebox cake. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is get our pan ready. So I'm gonna use an eight inch cake pan with a removable bottom, line the bottom with parchment paper, crumple it up, it's more flexible. Then I'm gonna set this aside. Next thing we're gonna do is make our whipped cream. Two cups of very cold, heavy cream, half a cup of powdered sugar. If you have a major sweet tooth, feel free to add a little bit more sugar. A couple teaspoons of peppermint extract. Then we're just gonna mix it. All right, we got our stiff peaks. First thing we do is layer just a thin layer of this whipped cream onto the bottom. All right, now I'm gonna take some of these chocolate wafer cookies, plop them in there. So I'm gonna spread another thin layer of the whipped cream on top. I'm just gonna keep doing this until I run out of all the ingredients. Cover it with some plastic wrap. Refrigerate this for about four hours just until those chocolate wafer cookies soften. Take a butter knife. I'm gonna run it under a little bit of hot water. And then I'm just gonna gently slide it along the edges. Just gonna lift it up. Oh yeah, look how pretty that is. Take some unsweetened cocoa powder. And then we're gonna take some crushed canned cane. A peppermint and chocolate icebox cake. And it comes together in a cinch. And you don't have to turn on the oven. How gorgeous is this, you guys? 